Jesus loves you. Love that never fails cannot fail you. God said, I love the world so much I gave all I had. God gave his love. Do you know what I mean? That's taking out your heart <laughs> and giving to people that don't deserve it. Jesus said, no greater love than one to lay his life for his friend. He considered us his friend. Other religions, Muhammad, Hindu, atheists, their leaders didn't die for them to express the love. But Jesus died to express his love towards us. The Bible says we should know and rely on this love that God has for us. That God is love. That whosoever lives in love, lives in God. And God in them. That means that when you know what this love is about, you rely on it. And this love is Jesus. And if you live in the heart of God, you are living in Jesus. And he's living in you. The simplicity of love. Anyone can understand a language. The language is love. One of the greatest languages of love is forgiveness. Loving your enemy defeats your enemy. Because the hatred leaves and the love comes. Love is the most powerful force. I'm not talking of earthly love. The expression of God's love towards us was proven at the cross of Jesus. My life was radically changed by love. I'm consumed and possessed by love. I'm filled with love. I'm baptized in love. I'm ruled by love. I'm controlled by love. I'm directed by love. Love produces me. Love makes me to speak the words of love. I hear love. I see love. I walk with love. I move with love. I love everyone. Love hates sin but loves everyone. What Christ did at the cross was the greatest expression of love. In him is found love. L-O-V-E. The greatest love where, that anyone can express is what Christ showed us to be. Whatever you do in love, the devil cannot touch it. He cannot win over it. Satan is not afraid of us having power, of us having faith, of us reading our Bible or living righteous. He's afraid when we love Jesus. The enemy of the devil is when you are in love with Jesus. I found out three years ago. When problems come to me, when trials come, I follow the love of Jesus. I run to his love. I run to his heart because I know that's where love is generated. The voltage, electricity power from heaven is generated by love. The angels in heaven have it. All creation love it. I love this verse in John 12 verse 24. Unless a seed falls to the ground and dies, it remains lonely. But when it dies, it produces more love. That means that Jesus is the main seed of love. He came to express a love we never had. And that seed in us is supposed to multiply. Love on earth can add to you, but God's love multiply. And it subtracts hate. It divides away the devil from you. People said, Emmanuel, how did you change? How did you do it? I said, no, not me. It was the love of God that touched my heart. It ironed my heart. It changed me and transformed me. I, I'm in love with Jesus. I love him with all my heart, with all my soul, all my body. That's why I do this thing for free. I do this thing because I'm a child of God. I do it because I love my father. I love his son, his king. You know what I mean? I'm not illegal. I'm not an immigrant. I'm not a citizen of heaven. I'm a citizen of the kingdom of love. People said, you preach about love a lot. I said them, the eyes can go for vacation, can take a nap and sleep. The ears can go for, to vacation and take a nap and sleep. The mouth can go to vacation and take a nap and sleep, but the nose cannot because the nose needs to keep breathing. My message about love is like the nose breathing. The nose cannot rest. It needs to breathe. Air needs to come in. So I have to preach about love. There's no condemnation in love. There's no judgment in love. There's power in love. My language is love. And it's nothing more but the word of God. 
that produces that love. Speak the language of love. Change your atmosphere. Change the environment you live. Love your father. Love your mother. Love everyone. And you will win them over for Jesus. I'm moved by love. And there's nothing can move me. Because I'm granted in God's love. The greatest expression, the greatest motivation, encouragement is produced by Jesus Christ. We have a king who lives forever. The king who died for mankind. The king that God so loved that he gave everything for us. What are you giving to Jesus? Money? Clothes? No. Give your heart to him. He is going to enter your heart by his spirit and rule it with love. Love is the most powerful, powerful friend you can have. And that love is Jesus. Jesus loves you. 